Good evening. You're watching the news tonight, your daily roundup of all that has happened across India and the world. I'm Ishan Russell, and uh, these are the top stories that we're tracking right now. The Congress targets Vasundra Raje, demands her resignation along with Sushma Swarajas for helping former IPL chief Lalit Modi in UK. Delhi police claims 21 MLAs of the Aam Aadmi Party have criminal cases against them, will file charge sheets against them as well. The government hikes minimum support prices for Kharif crops by up to 275 rupees per quintal. Secretary of State John Kerry speaks to Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, expresses concern over strained bilateral ties between India and Pakistan. Well, our top story this evening, the minimum support price of paddy has been raised by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Now, experts say that the hike in MSP is a politically generous and economically rational decision. Why so? Check it out. Paddy farmers have reason to rejoice with the government raising the minimum support price for the crop. The CCEA approved a proposal to raise the MSP of paddy by 50 rupees to 1,410 rupees per quintal for this year. The superior variety of paddy was also increased by 50 rupees to 1,450 rupees per quintal. जिस तरह से रेकमेंडेशंस था पैडी पर रुपीस 15 कंपैरिजन टू प्रीवियस ईयर देन जॉर पर 40 बाकी रागी पर 100 मूंग पर उरद पर किया है लेकिन एक कैबिनेट ने एक्सेप्शन किया है कि बोनस ऑफ रुपीस 200 पर क्विंटल फॉर पल्सेस ओवर एंड अबाउट द रेकमेंडेशंस ऑफ द रिकल्चर प्राइस कमिशन the union cabinet has also approved a bonus of 200 rupees per quintal on pulses. Experts say the hike in MSP will balance the need to control inflationary pressures. Look, MSP, we declare that the farmer who is doing the work of the farmer will keep it in mind. That we are doing the work of the MSP for the future. For the future, the farmer will get the work of the farmer and the farmer will get the work of the farmer. MSP is the minimum support price set by the government at which farmers' produce is procured by the Food Corporation of India. The increase in the MSP of paddy is in line with the recommendations of the Commission for Agricultural Costs and Prices. Rice production is pegged at 102.54 million tonnes in the ongoing 2014-15 crop year as against the record 106.65 million tonnes in the previous year. An increased MSP may encourage farmers for greater sowing of paddy. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. And policy editor at the Financial Chronicle, K.A. Badrina, joins us to help us understand uh, the move and uh, why is it so important as far as agriculturalists in India are concerned, uh, Badri? Well, uh, the, ish, the cabinet has, uh, as per your field report, the cabinet has taken the decision to increase the MSP. Hmm. There are two aspects to why this decision has been taken and what is the importance of this decision. Right. One is the MSP of uh, Paddy has been increased. Hmm. The second larger decision, what I think is more important is to increase the MSP for pulses, hmm. which is almost 275 rupees per quintal, which is a big issue for the farmers for the simple reason that pulses we are facing a large shortage and we're going to import a lot of pulses from across countries from Myanmar to Canada. Right. And henceforth, pulses to push domestic production of pulses, perhaps the government seems to have taken a proactive stand mm. as to, uh, you know, give enough signal to the market that we must increase pulses production domestically. All right, but as far as uh, rural wages also go, I mean, those had been declining too, and that has also become a cause for concern for the government. So could this provide a fill-up in terms of uh, increasing the MSP? See, uh, um, increasing MSP is only a deci one decision. It's a part of the whole gamut of decisions that need to be taken for the farm sector, given the fact that the farm sector is facing a major crisis, the agrarian crisis is staring in the face of the country and our domestic production of food grains across the spectrum from oil seeds, pulses, 
then the serials, you have a major problem. Mm. But serials still we can sail through because we have huge buffers. But at the same time, the pulses and oil seed, your uh, import bill is going to be going up if you are going to import a lot of pulses and the precious foreign exchange mm. that you need to deploy for other commercial activities will be constrained. All right. Uh, but also, uh, Badrinath, if you talk about uh, the, the fact that uh, uh, this was a decision that was also quite political as well. I mean, uh, the Congress party also had been uh, really uh, hogging the gov government over this uh, matter of uh, the fact that MSP had not been increased. And also keeping in mind the fact that there could be a deficient monsoon. Could we see more steps perhaps being taken by the government as far as support for uh, farmers in India is concerned? Yes. Uh if you recall uh, that in the last uh, six months, there have been a lot of uh, decisions that have been taken and the latest decision to increase the MSP on paddy as well as pulses is only one part, right. as I said earlier, for the simple reason, earlier, only last week, if you recall, uh, on Wednesday, the cabinet has decided to also import huge amount of pulses from across countries, as I said earlier, hmm. because they wanted this to be a backup, uh, you know, option for them to face possible shortages of pulses. And you know that pulses, uh, we have to depend in a big way on imports. Hmm. Now, the government seems to be taking a call as to can we increase the production of pulses in this country and also see how well we can use the buffer stocks with service, the cereals, to leverage these buffer stocks to see that there is no shortages in terms of uh, availability of food grains across at affordable prices. But at the same time, since the commodity prices have been at a very depressed level globally, they think, I guess, that the government is uh, leveraging this position to import pulses at this point of mm. time. But on the other front, the issue that you have raised, that we, what are the other uh, you know, steps that have been taken? See, I guess out of the 650 districts right. where you know, a lot of uh, you know, uh, the irrigation happens and the cultivation happens across both Karif and Rabi season, there, there is a contingency plan that is being put together. Hmm. As you heard Mr. Radha Mohan Singh, say so that the contingency plan is in, uh, is in offing. As part of the contingency plan, I guess there will be a major issue of, uh, you know, uh, district-wise plans right. to see that the farmers get out of the crisis. Mm. The, and also, as part of the, uh, you know, ag tackling the agrarian crisis, there's a huge... Uh, interest subsidy that has been given to farmers mm. on the loans that they have availed right. from different uh, government agencies, banks, financial institutions, and other things. Also, that now that you have the Jan Dhan Yojana mm. of the Prime Minister, many of the farmers, they are expecting the money to be Whatever financial assistance is given by the government to directly go into their account, right. whether it is fertilizer subsidy, whether it could be the assistance on seeds or agriculture implement or purchase of, uh, you know, um, the new equipment for right. the farming sector or processing after harvest processing, hmm. stocking, then till the farm products reach the mandis. Hmm. So the, it's a whole chain of the food economy that needs to be tackled. MSP can be only one point in that direction. All right, so MSP perhaps a starting point, uh, but there are other initiatives that the government has taken, as you correctly pointed out. But K. Badrinath, thank you very much for coming in and helping us understand how this uh, pricing, uh, the minimum support pricing of uh, Paddy and that has increased and how that could really impact you and me as well. So thank you very much for coming in and helping us thank understand you. this better. Well, moving on now, the Congress led the attack on the BJP leaders Sushma Swaraj and Vasundra Rajay today, a day after Lalit Modi said that both had helped him. The party said External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj must clarify if she met the former IPL chief at a London hotel last year without representatives of the Indian High Commission.
The Congress on Wednesday demanded the resignations of Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundra Raje, along with External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj, a day after former IPL boss Lalit Modi claimed they helped him with his travel papers in the United Kingdom. वसुंधरा राजे सिंधिया और ललित मोदी के संबंधों के बारे में तो सब जानते हैं कि पहले उनके जो टेन्योर में ललित मोदी ही पूरा पूरा काम संभालते थे जितना भी डील्स होते थे वो सब यही करते थे वेन यू हैव डन दिस यू शुड आल्सो एक्सेप्ट दैट दिस इज नॉट इनकंसिस्टेंस विद रूल्स व्हाई मोदी जी शुड नॉट कम आउट एंड टेल यस ऑन ह्यूमैनिटेरियन ग्राउंड आई हैव इंस्ट्रक्टेड because more or less modi is also very close to the other modi lalit modi told a tv channel that raje agreed to secretly back his application for immigration to the uk in 2011 when she was the opposition leader he also confirmed seeking swaraj's help for getting british travel documents to travel to portugal and that he was close to her family jo kuch karna chahiye wo kar kar unko arrest karna chahiye वो तो वहाँ मजा कर रहे हैं और हम यहाँ लड़ाई कर रहे हैं तो पहले उसको अरेस्ट तो करो ललित मोदी मेंशन फॉर्मर यूनियन मिनिस्टर्स शरद पवार प्रफुल्ल पटेल एंड राजीव शुक्ला एज द पीपल हु हेल्प्ड हिम ये इशू है सिक्योरिटी का तो मैंने उनसे जरूर बात की कि भाई आपको यहाँ आना है और आने की तैयारी हो तो कुछ बात हो सकती है गवर्नमेंट के साथ उसको हम बोल सकते हैं कि जिससे आपको यहाँ कोई मदद हो जाएगी कांग्रेस लीडर्स डिसमिस मोदीज एलिगेशन विद फॉर्मर यूनियन मिनिस्टर पी चिदम्बरम स्टेटिंग दैट लेटर्स रिटर्न टू ब्रिटिश अथॉरिटीज ऑन लालित मोदी केस ड्यूरिंग द यू पी ए रूल विल आंसर द एक्सेशन कांग्रेस लीडर्स हैव ऑल्सो एट्रीब्यूटेड द वीजा कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी टू इन फाइटिंग इन द बीजेपी and do not deserve a reply the complete answer to the charges can be found in the letters exchanged between mr osborn and me in a way mr arun jaitley the finance minister has repelled the charges by confirming that the ed was indeed investigating 16 cases against mr lalit modi lalit modi is living outside india for several years now He faces 16 enforcement directorate cases and a notice from the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. And Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi today attended a protest meeting of sanitation workers in the national capital. He hated out he to hit out at both the center and the Delhi government saying that both had made false promises to people in order to grab power. Making a pro poor pitch in the national capital, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi joined protesting sanitation workers at Jantar Mantar the second time in 6 days. Addressing the gathering, Rahul accused both BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party of making false promises to the poor and ignoring their plight. Aap log jhadu marte ho. Aap to kehte hain aapko permanent diye ki ye nahi kiya jayega. Kyun? Kyunki Hindustan ka vikas karna hai. जब गरीब लोग सवाल उठाते हैं तो कहते हैं भैया विकास करना है और जब हम पूछते हैं इस विकास का गरीब लोगों को क्या फायदा हो रहा है तो कोई जवाब नहीं मिलता है ऐसा विकास हमें नहीं चाहिए कीपिंग अप द टारगेट अगेंस्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर राहुल सेड ही वाज डिप्राइविंग द पुअर ऑफ देयर राइट्स इन द नेम ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड अशोर्ड एमसीडी वर्कर्स ऑफ हिज अनरिलेंटिंग सपोर्ट इन गेटिंग देयर ड्यूज फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट दिल्ली में आपके हक बनते हैं आप इस शहर को साफ रखते हो आप सफाई कर्मचारी नहीं हो आप दिल्ली की सेना हो आप हिंदुस्तान की सेना हो मैं आपको यह बताना चाहता हूं कि आप घबराओ मत कितना भी समय लग जाए कितना भी पसीना आ जाए कितने भी स्ट्रेच टूट जाए मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है लीडर्स ऑफ बोथ बीजेपी एंड द आम आदमी पार्टी हिट राइट बैक एट द कांग्रेस लीडर questioning what his party had done when it was in power for 15 years in delhi rahul gandhi ji ke dadi ma indira gandhi ne 1971 mein garibi hatao ka nara dekar chunav jeeta tha aur aaj 45 saal ke baad mein bhi rahul gandhi wahi garibon ki bhasha mein baat karte hain yani 45 saal logon ko garibi rakha 
On Tuesday, Rahul had attacked Prime Minister Modi for criticizing the Manrega scheme launched by the UPA government. He asked Modi to visit villages in person to see what benefits the people were reaping from the scheme instead of merely touring foreign nations. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. And the Aam Aadmi Party seems to be sinking deeper into controversies. Now with the Delhi police deciding to file charge sheet against 21 of its MLAs in 25 different cases. The party, however, claims this to be a conspiracy against it in a bid to divert attention away from real issues. Delhi police is filing charge sheets against 21 MLAs of the Aam Aadmi Party in various cases. Out of the 25 cases in which charge sheets will be filed, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been named in six. Besides the Chief Minister, Deputy CM Manish Sisodia, Power Minister Satyendra Jain and MLAs Ram Nivas Goel, Somnath Bharti and Jarnail Singh will have charge sheets against their names. The kind of cases are also varied. There is one pertaining to fraud and one for misbehaving with a woman. उन फैक्ट्स को मद्देनजर रखते हुए जो भी हमें कोर्ट के सामने रिपोर्ट पेश करनी है वो हम रिपोर्ट पेश करें। The party has called it politics of revenge। आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार बनने के बाद पूरे देश में ये माहौल बनाने की कोशिश मोदी जी की पुलिस और मोदी जी ये कर रहे हैं कि सारे अपराधी हिंदुस्तान के आम आदमी पार्टी में आ गए हमारे 21 विधायक ऐसे हो गए जिनके कारण पूरे देश में आतंक की स्थिति पैदा हो गई ऐसा ना करें मैं उनसे निवेदन करना चाहता हूं कानून के मुताबिक काम करें However the opposition parties have criticized the Delhi government for the many cases against its leaders Public life mein aakar agar aap mukadmo se darr aap public life mein aao mat और वो इस बात को अगर उनका कोई शेड्यूल होगा कोई टाइम फ्रेम ऐसा होगा जिसमें उसमें उनके खिलाफ मुकदमे बनने तो बनेंगे उसमें किसी से खबर भड़काने के लिए नहीं है कभी भी कोई केस हुआ है आम आदमी पार्टी ने किसी ना किसी के ऊपर तोहमत मंडी है कांग्रेस के ऊपर या बीजेपी पे या किसी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी पे और ये तोहमते लगाने का एक कारोबार शुरू कर रखा The police's decision is likely to increase the problems of the Aam Aadmi Party already grappling with a fake degree case and one of domestic violence against two of its leaders with inputs from Ravindra Singh Shoran and Anu Devan bureau report for Rajya Sabha TV Time for us to take a very quick break, but coming up on the other side, the Pope has urged countries to take in migrants, criticize those who refuse to do so. More details on the other side. Hello and a warm welcome to our special report, the program that brings you a ground zero view from whichever part of the country the Rajya Sabha TV cameras are traveling. It is the same village where the Telangana agitation actually began. We at Rajya Sabha TV bring you the first pictures of the landfall site. This is the main nerve center where the legal battle for the Kaveri water dispute began. When you are moving around this Niyangiri hill area, there are 41 streams like these which you have to cross. No one understands India better than we do. Watch Special Report only on Rajya Sabha Television. Welcome back. You're watching the news tonight. Now, after Nestle's Maggi noodles, now Mother Dairy finds itself in a soup. After acquisitions of its milk samples containing detergent, Mother Dairy today denied all the allegations. On Tuesday, the UP Food and Drug Administration had claimed to have found detergent in one of the milk samples. But Mother Dairy defended the test uh, was done and said the test was done on loose milk samples collected at the, at the village level, which were yet to be accepted by them. Mother Dairy Managing Director clarified they've sent the sam same samples for retesting to a lab in Kolkata and the results are awaited. He also claims their products undergo four levels of testing at input, processing, dispatch at even the market level. कैलकाटा रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरी की जांच रिपोर्ट अभी मिली है मुझको कल ही जिसमें कि ये दोनों ही सैंपल में एक सैंपल में डिटर्जेंट पाया गया है और बिजाती बसा और दूसरे सैंपल में केवल बिजाती बसा है डिटर्जेंट नहीं एक सैंपल अनसेफ है दूसरा असर स्टैंडर्ड है ऑल मिल्क व्हिच कम्स इन टू द कलेक्शन सेंटर मूव्स टू द टू द चिलिंग सेंटर एंड फ्रॉम द चिलिंग सेंटर टू द फैक्ट्री एंड इट गोस थ्रू रिपीटेड टेस्ट्स on a 100% basis and not on a sample basis. So it is 
a little unfortunate that this sample has been attributed to mother dairy packaged milk. And for more national news stories, let's take you nationwide. The Enforcement Directorate filed two money laundering cases against former PWD Minister of Maharashtra, Chagan Bhujbal. The cases relate to two land allotments. On Tuesday, 16 properties belonging to Bhujbal and his family members, including a bungalow with a helipad and a 65-acre plot, were searched in and across Mumbai, Thanik, Nasik and Pune. The CBI has filed a charge sheet, uh, sorry, an FIR against Congress leader and former Union Textile Minister Shankar Singh Vaghela and six others in a land deal scam worth 1,700 crore rupees. The CBI has alleged that Vaghela and the former chairman of the National Textile Corporation, Ramachandran Pillai, sold a prime property in Mumbai at throwaway prices to a private company. Noted architect Charles Correa passed away in Mumbai last night following a brief illness. He was 84. His last rites will be performed in Mumbai tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi condoled Korea's demise on Twitter, saying his architectural marvels will be cherished. Charles Korea played a defining role in developing architecture of post-independence India, including the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial in Ahmedabad and the Madhya Pradesh Assembly Building. He was also the chief architect of Navi Mumbai. Time for some international news now and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry spoke to Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif today and he raised concerns about the rising tensions between India and Pakistan. Now, his calls comes just a day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi called his Pakistani counterpart to extend Ramzan wishes. A day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended Ramzan wishes to his Pakistani counterpart Nawaz Sharif, the U.S. expressed enormous concerns over the straining bilateral ties between India and Pakistan. The U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry had a telephonic conversation with Sharif. He said, These are two very, very important countries playing a critical role with respect to regional interests. And it is very important that there be no misinterpretation or miscalculation with respect to any of the back and forth and the empowerment some entities might feel as a result of that. According to Kerry, Sharif was extremely forthcoming after his conversation with Modi. Pakistan and India were involved in a war of words recently with Sharif coming down hard on the Indian leadership. For remarks about an army operation in Myanmar last week, Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Rajivardhan Singh Rathore had called the army action a message to other countries that was interpreted as a warning to Pakistan. India, on the other hand, is concerned over an agreement on China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Now, the issue of migrants in the Mediterranean is slowly becoming a ticking bomb, waiting to burst into Europe's face. Italy and Greece, that have already seen more than 100,000 uh, boat people arrive on their shores this year. But Eastern nations like the Czech Republic, Poland and Hungary say they're opposed to quotas requiring them to take migrants in thousands. Here's more. Close to 150 African migrants are camping out for days at Italy's Mediterranean border, seeking entry into France and other destinations in North Europe. France has refused to take them. The Italian police shoved some of the migrants onto buses, an indication of how inept Europe has been in dealing with the crisis. The UN, however, says sealing international borders is impossible. We cannot fight. Um, smuggling rings which are adaptable, te technology savvy. People who come across the uh, Mediterranean are survival migrants. They uh, try to escape um, their dire circumstances and, and they will come no matter what. There is still no consensus on dealing with the migrant crisis. Last month, the EU proposed some bold reforms, including military and intelligence solutions, like destruction of boats used by smugglers, relocating 40,000 migrants who arrived in Italy and Greece, and settling 20,000 migrants from outside the EU. However, at a meeting on Tuesday, EU ministers failed to agree on a plan to distribute asylum seekers more equally across all 28 EU states. But human rights groups say the plan represents the bare minimum of what is needed to deal with the humanitarian crisis. Preghiamo per tanti fratelli e sorelle che cercano rifugio lontano dalla loro terra. 
che cercano una casa dove poter vivere senza timore. Efforts to reach an agreement over the Mediterranean migrant crisis will continue at an EU summit next week. More than 1,800 migrants died in the Mediterranean so far this year, a 20-fold increase since 2014. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Time for in some more international news and updates in Global Buzz. The Greek Central Bank warned that the country could exit from the Eurozone and European Union. This was after the government and its international creditors failed to reach a deal on economic reforms. Greece has blocked release of 7.2 billion euros in bailout funds. The central bank also warned that without a deal, economic slowdown will accelerate. Former Turkish President Suleiman Demirel died at the age of 90 today at the Guven Hospital in Ankara, where he was undergoing treatment for respiratory tract infection. Demirel served as Prime Minister seven times through the 1960s to the 1990s and was President from 1993 to the year 2000. North Korea is facing its worst, worst drought in a century. The main rice-growing provinces are badly affected and over 30% rice paddies are spotting up. The country suffered a devastating drought in the 90s when thousands had died. However, this time it is unlikely to be as deadly because of recent agricultural reforms. South Korea reported eight new cases of MERS, increasing the total number of uh, cases to 20. A total of 162 people have been infected in the outbreak, the largest outside Saudi Arabia. The vast majority of MERS infections and deaths have been in Saudi Arabia, where more than 1,000 people have been infected since 2012, and 454 have died. Time for some sports now and in cricket, India will take on Bangladesh in the first one-day match of the three-match series at the Shere Bangla National Stadium on Thursday. With captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni back at the helm along with six other ODI specialists, it will be a fresh beginning for a full-strength Indian squad after the World Cup semi-final exit. But even a 3-0 result against the host will not be enough for second place for the second place side to claim the number one spot in IC ICC rankings. While a favourable outcome for Bangladesh will boost its qualifying chances for the 2017 Champions Trophy. Time now for some sporting action in sports speed. Former BCCI and ICC President Sharad Pawar has won a seventh term as the president of the Mumbai Cricket Association. Pawar, who faced stiff competition from Shiv Sena back to Vijay Patil, defeated him by 27 votes. Pavar received 172, while Patel only managed 145. The Indo-Romanian tennis pair of Rohan Bopanna and Florin Mergea has reached the men's doubles quarterfinals of the Jerry Weber Open. The second seeds defeated a Czech-Ukrainian pair 2-6-6-3-10-8. The pair will next face Croatia's Granja and Finland's continent on, in the quarterfinal. Former world champion Vishwanathan Anand was held to an easy draw by Fabiano Caruana of Italy in the first round of the Norway Chess Tournament. The Indian ace has four more wide games to play in the tournament. Anand will now face Holland's Anish Kiri. Australian world champion runner and former Gold Coast Mayor Ron Clark passed away at the age of 78 in Edinburgh on Wednesday. Clark never won an Olympic gold medal despite officially breaking 17 world records and at one point holding records for every distance from 2 miles to 20 kilometers. In 1956, he was chosen to light the Olympic flame during the opening ceremony for the Melbourne Olympics. Well, that's the news tonight. Good night.